90 minutes. That's the national standard for the time it takes a heart attack patient to get treated for the best results. And at Intermountain Medical Center in Murray, doctors there have met that 90-minute heart attack protocol 100% of the time for the past three years. In our partnership with IMC, we show you what it takes to strive for perfection and how it saved the life of a West Jordan man. Hit that faster button to, to a pace that's kind of just like a comfortable walk for you. 56-year-old Walter Silva starts day one of a long-term physical therapy program at Intermountain Medical Center. That's because Walter just survived an attack on his heart. I feel like short of breath, headaches, I was dizzy. I was feeling like throwing up. One of Walter's co-workers called 911, and good thing, he was having a full-blown heart attack. A heart attack is where there's a blockage of one of the arteries supplying blood flow to the heart. It looks like this. Then it completely stops abruptly, and that's, that's a classic heart attack. So when Walter arrived at IMC's emergency department... At the hospital, they were already waiting for me, and uh, everything happened so fast. Emergency Department Chair Dr. David Barnes says treating a heart attack patient means teamwork at every level. Coordination of this takes a lot of work between the emergency department, uh, the cardiology department, as well as nurses, physicians, to make sure that this all goes smoothly every time. As soon as someone arrives, they're given an EKG. We watch to see certain uh, patterns in the EKG that show us how the heart beats. And after a blood test, the heart attack patient is sent to a catheterization lab where cardiologists like Dr. Kent Meredith take over. Get in with a catheter, uh, insert a wire through that blocked vessel, pass through the, the clot, which is what usually causes this, and then pass a balloon over that wire, expand it, inflate it, and then uh, allow the blood to, to return to the very uh, end part of that artery. And then put in a stent. It's what's in Walter's heart right now. With me, it took 20, 28 minutes to do the whole procedure. And uh, something I'm very grateful you now, because time is the most important thing. The national standard is 90 minutes, and over the past three years, Intermountain Medical Center has met that standard 100% of the time, and they meet as a team to review each case. We look at whether there might have been any uh, avoidable delays, and if there were, then we kind of look deeply into those and find out what we could fix so that next time it doesn't happen again. Even Walter's 28-minute case will be scrutinized so the team of health professionals get better. And that's exactly what Walter is trying to do now. Dr. Barnes says many patients have heart attack symptoms a week or so before they actually have a full-blown heart attack. He says not to ignore those chest pains or shortness of breath. Go see a doctor and they can try to catch the blockage in your artery before it tries to kill you.